Okay, Assalamu alaikum wa barakatuh. Today, inshallah, we're going to solve uh, two questions. Uh, one on the sound of uh, waves, standing waves, and the other one on the interference of waves. So the first question from um, IB past papers exam. We have a whistle on a steam train consists of a pipe that is open at one end and closed at the other. The sounding length of the whistle is 0.27 meter and the steam pressure in the whistle is so great that the third harmonic of the pipe is sounding. I'll just recap a little bit. Uh, standing waves when I have closed uh, uh, open in one end and close the other uh, on the other end. Now first harmonic. You see the wave. Here. Um, the wave that is uh, being created inside the pipe. It's the length here. I have a quarter lambda. So this is the length of the pipe, L. L here is quarter lambda. So L will equal. Just OK. I cannot write to that. So L is 1 over 4 lambda. And we know that lambda will be 4L in this case. Frequency, it's velocity uh, over lambda. So the frequency F1, the first harmonic, will be V over 4L. Now second harmonic. Second harmonic. Here, if I can write. OK, so from here till here, this is lambda over two. And from here till here, this is lambda over four. So here I have. Uh, three quarter lambda, three quarter lambda two. So if I need lambda, it will be four over. 3 and frequency it will be 3v over 4l because frequency is velocity over lambda. Here l is 3 over 4 lambda, l is 3 over 4 lambda. So if I need lambda, if I need lambda, it will be 3l over 4. So the frequency will be velocity over lambda. Velocity over lambda 3L over 4. 3V over 4. This is the third harmonic. Now, fifth harmonic it will be 5D over 4L. So, general formula for lambda. For lambda, it will be 4L over N. N will go from 1, 3, 5, etc. And for frequency, it will be NV over 4L. NV over 4L. And again, N goes from where? From 1, 3, it's odd numbers, 5, etc. First harmonic, third harmonic, fifth harmonic. There is no second and fourth, OK? Right. Let's go back to the question. Here, the question. Show that there must be a node at a node at distance point 18. From the closed end of the pipe, so. Here in the question, he said, he said, let's try just first and given. So I have a length L. This is L. This point 
27 meter. Speed of sound 340. And open, um, close, uh, uh, um, close on one end and open on the other end. Uh, here we will have here uh, the train consists of third harmonic. Here we have third harmonic. So third harmonic. Draw by. OK, it will look like that. OK. Now the, the distance, it's point twenty seven. At distance 0.18, okay, show that there must be a node. If there must be a node, it means this from here till here, this distance should be 18. That means I should have half lambda. Or one, because here I have one and a half, this is a loop, loop, and this is half loop, half a loop. So I can solve this question in two ways. The first way, the first way, the total, the length of the pipe, the length of the pipe is 0.27, and this corresponds to half, this is a quarter lambda, the distance from here till here, it's a quarter, and this one is half, Half plus quarter, so it's 0.75 lambda. When the length is 0.18, I need to prove that here I should have half lambda. This distance from here till here should be half lambda. From here till here, it's quarter lambda. So I'm going to do cross multiplication. Cross multiplication, I need this how much this how many lambda here? So 0 0.18 times 0 0.75 divided by 0 0.27. So I should get 0.5 lambda. So 0 0.18 correspond to 0.5 lambda. That means I will have here a naught. This is one way. Now the other way of solving this question is <clears throat> the length, the total length is point twenty seven, and this corresponds to one and a half loop. One, this is the first loop, and this is half loop, so one and a half. Point 0.18 correspond to how many loop? How many? I should have one loop, okay? So I need to verify that it is one loop. If it's one loop, so that means this point is not. So the same thing, I'm going to do cross multiplication, so point 0.18 times 1.5 divided by 0.27. This will give me the number, the question mark, the number of loops, and I should get one. <clears throat> now we calculate the frequency of the whistle sound. The general formula, if I have uh, standing wave, uh, one uh, end is closed and the other end is opened, pi. So it will be NV divided by four times L. Three, um, third harmonic, so N is a three. The velocity of uh, sound in air, 340. Divided by four times 0.27. And I will get 900 
144 hertz or second inverse. I can round it to two significant figure, 940 hertz. Okay, the other question is on standing. The second part of the question is on a standing wave. Um, Doppler effect. So here we have a train is moving directly away from stationary observer. Stationary observer, so the velocity of the observer is zero. At a speed, the train is moving at a speed 22 while the whistle is sounding. So this is the velocity of the source of sound. The source of this, the noise, the source of noise. Calculate the frequency heard by the observer. So the general formula uh, using Doppler effect, F prime, the frequency observed equals original frequency, velocity of sound, positive or negative, velocity of the observer divided by velocity of sound, positive or negative velocity of the observer. There is a video on Doppler effect um, um, in the playlist. The playlist will be attached uh, in the description section of the video. Uh, you can watch the video there. So just substitute now here. This is zero. So F prime. Velocity uh, frequency, sorry, frequency observed. Uh, by the observer, 940, 340 divided by 340. Now positive uh, or negative, the train is moving away. Moving away, that means the velocity observed will be less. How I'm going to make the velocity, the frequency less? Frequency less, the sound will be less, the, the pitch of the sound will be less, how much? by increasing the denominator because they're directly proportional. Increasing, it means I'm going to use positive sign. So plus 22. OK, and you will get 880 hertz, 880 hertz. OK, second question. It's on the interference of light. OK, so here we have a coherent monochromatic light. Monochromatic means we're using one color with the same frequency, same phase, same amplitude, same wavelength. OK, so it's incident on two narrow slits, two narrow slits, S1 and S2. Um, the distance, capital D, they will interfere, will have a bright fringe, dark fringe, uh, bright dark, and so on. The question is, state one way to ensure that the light incident on the slit is coherent. We use laser light with one color, with one single color. So here we use a single laser light. OK, second part of the question is. Light emerges from S1 and S2, reaches the screen. Explain why the screen appears dark at point P dark, because we will have a destructive interference when light interfere with each other. They interfere constructively where we get bright fringes or destructively where we get destructive, dark. So if I have light comes with another here, I have a crest meet with a trough. OK, so they cancel each other out. The phase difference between them is pi or lambda over two. So the path difference, it will be half odd multiple of a wavelength or I can write it as n plus half times lambda. So lambda over 2, 3 lambda over 2, 5 lambda over 2, etc. Next. 
when red light of a wave length 660 nanometer is used, the first fringe at P subtends at an angle 0.0045 radium from midpoint of S1 and S2. So here is the angle. This is the small distance D and this is the capital distance uh, D between the slits and the screen determine the change in the angle when blue light of wave is used. So first I have to find the angle using the red. Okay, and then uh, the angle using the blue and then find the difference between them. Okay, so <clears throat> first we we'll start with the red. Theta, the formula is lambda uh, over <coughs> distance. So theta, the distance uh, d over the distance d, this is double slit. So theta for red is point zero forty five equals lambda six hundred and sixty. 9 meter 10 to the power negative 9 divided by d so i can find d just swap d we equal 660 divided by 0 0.045 so i should get 1.47 times 10 to the power negative 5 meter now for blue blue the angle uh, the angle theta is lambda 440 times 10 to the power negative 9 divided by d, we've just got a d is 1.47 times 10 to the power negative 5. So the angle theta is 0 0.03 radian. So changing the angle determine the change in the angle. The word change, it means a difference. Change, it means difference. So the change in the angle will equal 0 0.0045 minus 0 0.03. You should get 0 0.015 radian. Okay, 